Hi guys, Mike Martin here. Um, right, a lot of people have been speaking to me recently since the dynamically backlink build, blah, 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 I can't even say the word. Dynamic backlink builder was released. Uh, we are releasing it as a standalone tool, but you don't need it if you've got MPP because it's included in there for you. Um, just so that people know, uh, basically the dynamic backlink builder, if you want to, a lot of people have been saying, okay, I don't want interesting places to visit in Manchester. I want things like nightclubs in Manchester or cool places to visit in Manchester and daft stuff like that. And a lot of people have been trying to create these things with the with the with the code well I had a quick look at the code I've released and it's slightly different than the one that you get inside of Google nowadays so I'm just gonna quickly do it for you so let's say we were saying nightclubs in Manchester yeah search nightclubs in Manchester then let's go over to Max okay it's super simple list man I think I spelled it wrong actually let me just go back and make see if I've spelled it. Yeah, I think it did. I thought I had. I always usually spell things wrong. Right, go to maps. Okay, and you should see a little map that pops up here next. So Tiger Tiger, Manchester, South Summer, Busy, whatever. Anyway, no big deal. Right, then we come over to here. Right, sorry, I'll slow down. Top left. Yep, click it. Scroll down to where it says share an embed map. Okay, share an embed map. Click on the embed map code. Sorry, guys, I should have turned my phone off. Okay, so you click on the embed map code and you get a cool looking map like this, which has got everything you need in it, all right? So you copy the HTML code out of that. Okay, then you're gonna come back over to your link building page or your MPP page, whichever tool it is you're using. And you go to the text version and you paste it into your page. Okay, so now we click update. When I view the page, that's gonna show nightclubs in Manchester. Okay, but obviously when we go over to Warrington, we don't want to see, I'm really sorry about my phone. Let me switch the bloody thing off. Sorry about that. Right, so, but if you go over to Salford, you don't want to see interesting things in Manchester. You don't go over to St. Helens. You're not interested in nightclubs in Manchester, are you? Tiger, Tiger and all that. So, what you want to be able to do is create it so that every single page has an interesting map on it or an interesting... Yeah, sorry, not an interesting map. You know what I mean? Nightclubs, pet stores, uh, locksmiths, plumbers, roofers, electricians, right? So what you do is you come into this little bit of code here, right? And there's actually there's one complicated bit, okay? And it's after this silly little bit of code you see at the beginning here. What you'll do is you'll notice, right? And if you look at the location that you start with, you need to find out what the latitude and longitude are or longitude and latitude are, right? Now, I know the longitude and latitude in Manchester. The longitude starts with minus two, so I look for the minus two and I go to the exclamation mark, okay? There, see it? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna grab the longitude, okay? And then I'm gonna go over to where the minus was again because I know it starts with a minus figure and I'm gonna come across to here. I'm gonna paste the longitude in okay i know the latitude starts 53 so i'm going to pull it across and go to the is it called an exclamation mark that thing with a dot on the bottom there anyway you know i, don't, I think it's called an exclamation mark right then you go latitude okay right then what you want to do is so we're putting nightclubs in manchester so that's our location yeah now if you find it's not working when you're doing it you can change that to location, county, region, something like that. And it will actually search a little bit more deeper for you. So it'll search the local areas or location, county zip or location, region zip or something like that. Right. So, and, and the way you do it, you see your little pluses you've got here, nightclubs, plus, in, plus, Manchester. So you'd go plus location, but the, the, the short code location. I'm not going to do it because we don't, I don't need to, it's pretty obvious how, how, how that bit sits together right so next thing now we're going to go back over to view the page same thing tiger tiger interesting place here uh, nightclub in manchester now let's click on Oldham. boom look at that circus bees knees enigma um let's click back on warrington where we were before warrington rodney firm uh, but i don't know what i don't know any of these bars do i stockport let's see if we've got any nightclubs in stockport and there you go, so it just pulls in nightclubs in Stockport. And this works for anything. So look quickly, while you're on, I'm gonna run for it one more last time. One more last time, that doesn't make sense, does it? I'm gonna run for it one last time so you can see, right? But what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna come up here and put taxi ranks, yeah? Do we want taxi ranks? Do I want to put strip clubs? <laughs> I'm joking, I'm not gonna put strip clubs. 
Uh, taxi ranks, right, wait there. So we've got taxi ranks in Manchester, yes. Click on the drop down, go over to share and embed code. Okay, click the embed bit, sorry, don't copy the link. Copy the HTML, back across to the page, edit the HTML, right? Now what's gonna happen, what, what, let me explain how the map code works as well, right? Just so that you understand. Right, basically, this first bit of the map now embeds it. I'm pointing at the screen, you can't see what I'm doing. Right, the longitude and latitude is where it starts from. So where, where you view, and then the, the, the search, the search term, nightclubs in Manchester or nightclubs in location is the search term. So what I'm gonna do, I'll show you the difference now so you kind of understand how the URL works and then it'll make a lot more sense, right? So what I'm gonna do is now is I'm gonna go in and change Manchester to location and I'm not gonna change anything else, okay? And then we're gonna click update. I'm gonna leave the latitude and longitude as they were before, all right? So you can see minus two there and then the 53 one, okay? I'm gonna leave them gonna go and view the page okay so now you've got wow loads of taxi ranks yeah sold tax limited swan mini cabs all over manchester right now let's go to blackburn and look at the map still manchester okay it's still in manchester because you've not changed the longitude and latitude setting so it's still going to show the same map no matter where you go Okay, sometimes it won't show as many. Ah, oh, that's just worked, it's not showing as many, right? But when you zoom out, it should have the ones where you want it to go. So St. Helens is all the way over here. See, so this is the one, it's showing the ones in St. Helens. It's just not moving the map, right? So you go back to edit magic page, or, or any your dynamic backlink building page, whichever software you've got right so then we want to come down to the bottom as we as as you do you grab the longitude because the longitude is the minus in manchester i don't know where you are in the world you need to go and look at your own longitude and latitude settings i look for the one that starts with the with the minus two because i know that's right then i pull it all the way up to the exclamation mark yep v there's my longitude installed then i go to where another 53 starts which is after the d and i go all the way up to the exclamation mark it's really simple really easy to do do you know what? Let me just back out a second, guys, because that looked like a bit of a long... No, it wasn't. It was right. Looked a bit long, that's all. I didn't want to make myself look like an idiot by showing you the wrong one. 53 to the exclamation mark, and that's going to be the latitude. So I'm just going to... Latitude. Update. View. Boom, there we go, we're in Scots, whatever his name it is, yeah? Click on Blackburn. Blackburn, look, taxi Blackburn, car hire, private thing, whatever. Where's the, let me go back to Manchester because we can grab a, oh, there's a St. Helens one. St. Helens, look, see, now, you got the, now you're in St. Helens. So you have to do both points. It's very easy, very simple. And with this dynamic battling bill, you can put these crazy looking maps anywhere you want for anything you want. So, so, Edit inside here now, if I go in here, all I need to do is get rid of taxi ranks, yeah, with churches. And then we go and view the magic page. Oh, Manchester Chinese Christian Church, City of Manchester Church, blah, 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 go over Blackburn. Can you see the churches in Blackburn? Wow, there's loads of churches in Blackburn. Um, and again, any, and you can do this with anything. Once you create that first little code, it works for anything. It pulls in all the local areas and all the stuff that you need because because of, of the way the system actually works. Um, so what did we say earlier? If this is one, <laughs> I might get shouting off of some some of the users, but I'm not bothered. Let's have a look. Boom, there we go. Long legs, baby, platinum, obsessions, strip clubs in Manchester. <laughs> We've got any strip clubs in St. Helens? Oh, just the one. No, doesn't. Oh. Anyway, guys, uh, that's how you do it. It's dead easy, it's dead simple. I know a lot of people have been asking me. Um, the driving directions one's a bit more complicated. It's very easy if you've got a Google Maps API key, but I'm not gonna show how to do it because I don't think it's a good idea to be using that for backlinking because People can see your Google Maps API key on the page. They can take it off and they can go and use it millions of times and cost you a fortune. So it's not a good idea. Okay, guys.
people get stuck with things or want me to show you how to do stuff like this, it's dead, dead simple, it's dead easy, it's, it's under, understanding the structure of the Batlink Builder, but obviously now when you do your exports, every single export would have, if you was trying to rank strip clubs, this would, this would work for that. If you're trying to rank churches, I can't imagine why you'd want to rank churches, but so you were trying to rank taxi ranks, um, anything, absolutely anything, it's dead simple. Okay guys, thanks for listening, cheers very much, bye bye bye.